What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're jumping into the next one on our itchy boots journey. It's been a while. I know that she's been out still doing her damn thing around the world. If there's, if there's a person that I would say you can live totally vicariously through when you watch her videos, it's her right here. Definitely get over and show itchy boots all the love in the world. I got nothing but love and respect for the things that she's out there doing. Doing things that most other people will say, no way do I want to do that by myself. No way do I want to put my, my body through that. But think about all the things she's experiencing. The people that we see that she gets to meet. Like the whole thing is amazing. You want to talk about seeing the damn world the right way? I feel like this is a great way to do it. Let's go on a journey. No sweat. The Cameron Highlands. Let's see what we got. Get over show. Itchy Boots. All the love of the world. Shout out to Joelle for the request. I appreciate you. I've been riding in the Cameron Highlands for quite some time now and the road's not very steep but gradually it's climbing all the time. I tell you all the time, get out and go see things. She is like the epitome of doing that. The only way that you could see more would be to walk in. Good morning internet, it is 8.13 in the morning and welcome to my channel. I'm now off to get some breakfast. Today I'm riding to the Cameron Highlands, which is a hilly area in Malaysia. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I checked the route and um, it's three hour ride if you take the highway. But yeah, I don't want to take the highway. So um, I've been looking at another route and I found one which will take me six Where is she now? This look like Penang. It is Penang. Escaping hot, humid, and sweaty Penang. I have been to Penang. Oh, like some of this stuff looked familiar. The boat restaurant definitely looked a little familiar. So, um, I've been looking at another route and I found one which will take me six hours of riding. So. That'll take me pretty much the whole day. And I think it's, it's a much nicer route, so I'm gonna do that. I checked my tire yesterday and I think it's still okay. So I think I can take this route. And then yesterday I also had a, um, uh, an oil change. But before I go, uh, I'm gonna have some breakfast. Uh, I've been having this um, local Malaysian breakfast around here, which is amazing. I absolutely love it. So, um, I'm gonna get the breakfast and then uh, quickly go. Hi. She, I bet you she has, had, she's everything. She's a little bit of everything. She's an adventurer, she's an explorer, she's a damn motorcyclist, she's a foodie, obviously, because she's gonna have to be eating food from all different kinds of places. This is not something that I don't, I don't think I could do it. I'm a very picky eater, and when I was in Malaysia, like, it was very hard for me to find things other than chicken and rice. Like, that's the one go-to that I have in pretty much every country. There's some sort of chicken and potatoes or chicken and rice dish. Because I, I am a picky eater. It's not something I'm proud of. I would love to be able to just go out there and experience things. It's just more of a gag reflex type thing. Like, if I get new textures or anything like that. My body doesn't necessarily like it, but she's got to do so much. And it's, it's very cool. Like it, this is someone who's truly experiencing everything that the world has to offer. Hi, can I have the two time egg and the one in coffee? Thank you. Look, he already knew her damn order. You can see, he was like, yeah, I get you the same thing I've been getting you. So this is the coffee I'm getting. This is one of the strongest coffees I ever had. Ever. And I think they put uh, condensed milk with it, but it's delicious. Really good. So this is the breakfast. I'll show you what to do with it. So you take the egg. Oh, she does the egg drink. Mmm, Thailand, they do that too. I've had it once and never again. I, that's one of those texture things I was telling you about. That texture with that egg in the in the in the cup right there, we don't get along. She's gonna put some stuff in it. Watch. And you 
will throw it over the bread. Uh, <laughs> okay, different than Thailand. In Thailand, we don't put it over bread. They just they get an egg in a cup like that, and they put some Maggie seasoning and something else on the top of it, and then they drink it slowly, and it's like, oh, oh it's like a half-cooked egg. This looks more doable. It doesn't look so good, but I can promise you it is super delicious. And it's so good that I actually always order two of them <laughs> because one is not enough. So, bon appetit. They just gotta have that energy. Thank you. Okay, yes, thank you for everything. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye. place to eat I was already looking for maybe Look, an hour to find a place to eat something See? because uh, it's already two o'clock but I found something I don't know what I'm eating I don't know what this is but uh, it smells very good and uh, from here it's um, it's another two and a half hours and then I'm in the Cameron Highlands so I'm more than halfway already and I am super happy that I took the long route because so far the road is super nice and I'm really enjoying it, it's beautiful. So I think this was a much better route than going straight uh, direct over the highway. So, and I think the scenery from here is only gonna get better. So I'm looking forward to the rest, but first have a lunch.
I've been riding in the Cameron Highlands for quite some time now and the road is not very steep but gradually it's climbing all the time and the temperature is slowly dropping so finally it is not so hot anymore I'm actually even thinking that if it continues like this I might even have to change for my black jacket it's gonna be that cold but uh, so far I can still ride in this one and I'm really enjoying it it's super beautiful uh, it's only half an hour more and then I'll be uh, arriving at my destination so I'm gonna enjoy the next half hour guest house I'm in a place called Dana how's it for me? Tanarata Since I'm staying in a town called Tanarata and this is my room so a bed and a bag very that's basic. how she needs I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below I'll see you in the next video if you haven't done so already and you want to do some more exploring with itchy boots get over and show her all the love in the world i think it is a phenomenal thing that she's capturing the entire experience i think that it is awesome people that aren't able to travel anymore are going to be able to walk, look at this and see how beautiful the world is there's so many things out there telling you that the world is a dangerous and hateful place and she's showing you exactly the opposite with a smile to somebody, she can change the whole dynamic of everything. We I, we know that she's been through some things, uh, but it's on the whole, this is showing you that yeah, there's beautiful people everywhere, 100%. Go show her all the love of the world. The link's right there inside the description. Smash the like button if you liked it, the dislike button, but I won't believe you. Tell the next one of my league possible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. I love you to the moon and back. Peace.